Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fine. Today I have created a new playlist that is on MATLAB basics. So in this playlist, I will upload the basic block representations videos. For any complete circuit design, at first you have to know the block representations and how you can utilize the blocks for your design. So in this video, specially, I will show you that how you can generate the triangular signal and what are the possible blocks that you can use for this triangular generation. You know that for PWM generation, triangular wave is more popular because most of the time it is used as a carrier signal. So now you have to know that how it can be generated. A basic triangular generator block you can easily get from the Simulink library. Uh, so at first go to the Simscape, then power system, then specialized technology, after that fundamental blocks, and here the pulse and signal generator. So you can see that here uh, many types of blocks are present. So from this we can get this triangular generator. So how this triangular generator works? If you double click on the triangular generator then you can see that that here you have to give the frequency and the phase and in the upper side you can see here one line is written that it can generate a symmetrical triangular wave with peak amplitude of plus minus one so that means from this triangular generator you can generate the triangles that are symmetric and the amplitude would be plus minus one always so now give the frequency as 50 hertz and at first uh, you give the phase as 0 degree and then run the simulation and check what is coming. So here you can see the maximum possible value in the positive that is plus 1 and for negative this is minus 1 and because you are giving the phase value 0 degree that is why it is starting from minus 1. Let's give the phase value 90 and then check the output. So here you can see that the triangular wave is starting from 0. The previous one had started from minus 1 to minus 1 and this one is starting from 0 and end up to 0. So this is the basic triangular wave generator. Here another block that is used for triangular signal generation is repeating sequence block. You can easily get it in the Simulink sources repeating sequence. So how you can generate the triangular signal from this repeating sequence. So if you double click on the repeating sequence then you can see here the main two inputs are the time values and the corresponding output values. For my most of the design I have used this repeating sequence for triangular generation. In the triangular generator we give the frequency as an input. And here you have to give the time value as an input. So if you consider the 50 Hz frequency, then what is the total cycle or the total time value? That you know that the time is inversely proportional to the frequency. So that means our T is equal with 1 by F. So if you give 50 Hz frequency, that means the total time period is 0 0.02 seconds. So you can see from the waveform. For a complete cycle you need 5 time values and 5 corresponding output values. 5 time values are 0, 0 0.005, 0 0.01, 0 0.015 and 0 0.02 and the corresponding values are 0, 1, 0, minus 1 and 0. So give this value on the repeating sequence.
so the output is same with the triangular generator so both the blocks are working as a triangular generator now suppose you need a triangular wave whose maximum amplitude is 1 and the minimum amplitude is 0 then you cannot use the triangular generator then you have to use this repeating sequence because in case of triangular generator the triangular wave amplitude is plus minus 1 or multiple of plus minus 1 so you cannot generate the triangle that are having the amplitude 0 1 so that is why the repeating sequence is more advantageous than triangle generator so now see how we can generate this triangle so here we have to give three output values 0 1 0 and the corresponding three time values so the time values are 0 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 and the corresponding output values are 0 1 0 so now let's check the output So now you can see on the screen that it is starting from 0, maximum amplitude is 1 and then 0. So in case of repeating sequence, there is no amplitude restriction. But in case of triangular generator, there is a restriction that is the amplitude variation in between plus minus 1. So my personal suggestion is use this repeating sequence instead of using triangular generator because it will be more helpful for you to generate any type of triangular wave. So I think it is clear that how you can generate the triangular signal by using triangular generator as well as repeating sequence blocks. If you like this video, please hit the like button and for latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.